Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a simple 3D card game in under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off, I'm gonna get my assets. This includes my car and my roads. I'm gonna get them from Unity Asset Store, and I really like this one for the car. It's called Arcade Free Racing Car. So now, I'm planning on downloading it and importing it into my game so that I can use it. And like that, we have a car in our game. Okay, okay. so I'm going to do the exact same thing with roads. I really like this. It's called Low Poly Road Pack. I'm going to import it and download it just like I did with my cars. Alright, now they're in the scene. As you can see, if I open the prefabs folder, all the roads are there. But it would take a long time to sort by the roads and make my own highway and stuff. Like, put each road together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the demo scene they gave us. I'm just going to copy their city. And I'm going to put it in my scene. Like that. Alright, so I'll go back to my scene. I'll paste it. And so with that, I have my own city and my own car in my scene. Alright, so for my script... I'm going to create a new C-sharp script, and I'm going to name it Car Controller. Now, once that's made, I'm going to add it to my free racing car asset. And now that that's on my car, I will open it in Visual Studio. This is what should pop up for you guys. But I created my own script, and it works like a charm. And I'll walk you through it so that you guys can implement it as well. So firstly, I call all the important variables like the speed, the rotation speed, the max angle, and the horizontal and vertical input. You can tweak the first three variables. Now in the update, which happens every single frame, I see whether the player wants to go left or right with my horizontal input, or if the player wants to go forward and back with my vertical input. This basically sees if the player is uh, pressing WASD or any of the arrow keys, meaning that it wants to go forward, backwards, or whatever like it wants. So now let's head on to the fixed update, which happens every physics update. So in this in this class, I will uh, move the car according to how the player wants it to move. So basically, I'm going to translate it uh, with its speed, its vertical input, and the time, which which will make it move forward and backwards. And I'm going to adjust the rotation and angle uh, with this math in a way that if it wants, if the player wants to move left or right. Uh, it'll adjust to that. So you you can look through this, and I also have a resource in the comment, in, in the comment section, in which all of this code is accessible. So you can go through it and test it out for yourself, so that you can learn something. So this script is amazing, but really we also need to make sure that the camera can follow the player. That way, the car can can't just run off, and the player will not be able to see it. Right. So I'm gonna create a new script called Follow Car. All right, and in the script, I'm going to go to the update section and create this simple line of code. I'm going to make sure that the tra uh, the transformed out position, which is the camera's position, is always equal to the car's position plus this distance. Basically, uh, it's going to make the car always follow the player at all times. All right, and really quickly, one thing that I wanted to do to fix this is to delete line 29 in the car controller script because it doesn't really help it actually hurts the gameplay once you delete that you'll be good to go all right and after putting the follow car script on the camera putting the car controller script on the car and doing all of that this game works like a charm it works amazingly it's a really fun car game and best of all it only took you right under five minutes to make this i'm going to create a part two to make this game a little more spicy but i hope you like my tutorial and please support me by liking, sharing, subscribing. Also, comment down below if you have any questions or if you want any suggestions.